Cheers, my puffers, drinkers, and talkers out there to all of your chillable <laughs> beverages. My and your smockable <laughs> cigars. Uh, I'm your host, Connor Chubach. Dylan Wilson. He'll come kill. And I'm George. <laughs> <laughs> and today, we're going to be getting into our experience with uh, the eclipse and some various other topics. So... Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Light up a cigar or your favorite uh, smoking apparatus. Pour yourself a cold one, whatever that may be, and uh, and enjoy today's podcast. Yes, sir. Sound good. All right. Like, comment, and subscribe. All share with love. a friend. Share with a friend. Share with a friend. Sharing is caring, gentlemen. We didn't have much time to Unless stay there. Times. I wish I could have spent more. <laughs> Jesus uh, yeah. Christ. I wish I could spend more time. Joey and friends, I just saw um, a short video uh, yesterday, and I saw it yesterday. Joey doesn't share food. Yeah. <laughs> you ever seen that Joey episode? Oh, yes. you know, yeah. friend, he doesn't share food. Yeah. Like, I went on a date with this girl. And she was reaching out to grab, like, you know, a french fry or whatever it was. And then, like, another, that's a dangerous subject. In yeah. There. <laughs> another thing I've never seen. He hey, hey, Friends. 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 Yeah, I couldn't get into it. Or Seinfeld. I've never seen but Seinfeld. But you know what? I think, it's, I think that's great. I've seen an episode. So I, envy, I, I envy people that haven't watched it yet, the, my favorite shows, because... Oh, I will revive the whole thing. You know, I'm, I'm watching for the first time The West Wing. And it's just perfect. I've never seen that either. And it's just perfect, you know, like to, to see how everything I'm reading and listening compared to what we expect from a true president. And um, it's I'm already in the third season. It's my top five already, ever. Have, have you ever seen House heard of Cards? Good. What was that? Have you ever seen House of Cards? Yes. Is that any? I haven't seen that. Is that any? Uh... It's a, it's a Netflix or original, and it, it started great, but then it got all these problems with the main actor. Right. Right. So and then by, by the, Spacey. Yeah, Kevin Spacey. By the end of by the end of the second season, being good. Being good you know the problems started, and it was then the show. You know the the focus wasn't on the show anymore. But you know, curious fact. Uh, is that the noise from you know the sound from about Netflix? To say that, yeah, it's from the show. It's from. It's technically, it's from his, it's from the from the knock he does on, on the wall on the That's like the, on the table. To Netflix when you log in, it's like yes. boom, boom. Yes, <laughs> it's from House of Cards. Because huh. was that their first original was show the, potentially, or like one yeah. of the first or something? I mean, pound for pound, it was. I think it's still the biggest show on. Uh, on Netflix, right? So of course not anymore, but it had, because it, it's this, you know the company is much bigger. But if you consider the impact it had for um, Netflix, House yeah. of Cards, I think was the most this successful. This is how AI optimizes my schedule. So I have a project coming up. So I start by listing. AI the project is pretty cool. Hmm. Ah, uh, interesting. That's where it comes from. I'll be damned. Did not know that. I knew that. I've never seen the show. <laughs> Tinfoil hat moment. Netflix is for child molesters. <laughs> like the Wikipedia. Wikipedia too. Wikipedia is well known for that. Everybody knows that. What is that about? I'm canceling my subscription. Yeah. <laughs> cancel your cancel Netflix. The noise that you log in is from uh. Kevin Spacey. Kevin Spacey is a child molester. Hence, so, hence, Netflix promotes <laughs> child molestation. Who is Kevin Spacey? The it's guy you the just guy saw. That video. Oh, that guy on that video. Okay. Yeah, but wasn't that what they did? They just canceled him. Actually, canceling became big because of him. Well, yeah, I think he was. Like everybody was. Was that? Yeah, it's not like he's in prison. I mean, they just, yeah. which he's just yeah. just canceled. It's like nothing. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That he is the is epitomizes. What canceling is, right? Because others were canceled, but they still work or something, some sort. But with him, no, Bill Cosby was. Oh pretty, yeah, that's right, that's right. He was yeah, pretty yeah. canceled too. Johnny yeah. Depp got canceled hard, and yeah, nobody touched true. him for a while, except for 
like Dior clone or something, whatever it was. People who believed him? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Man, I... I, I, And that took the world by storm for a while, that uh, that case. The case? Mm -hmm. I had... uh, My God, I I watched it for... Conspiracy theory. Ages. Tinfoil hats (laughs) fall off your head. Exactly. (laughs) I I watched the the videos, all the videos for ages, all the interviews, and man, there was a, a big show, right? I know if you're enjoying a mega pint. Mega pint. From so he used to drink mega pints of wine. Oh yeah, that's what he would call it. Yeah, mega pint. Mega from pint. Chilabo. Because he would just drink. Yeah, some Chilable. <laughs> Chilable. <Mega pint. laughs> from Chilable. <laughs> that's the brand. <clears throat> what you guys smoking? I'm smoking a Bolivar. Okay. Smoking a diesel. Smoking a backwood, but I'm almost done with this bad boy. Right, and this <laughs> is a uh, High Clare Castle. From in, some of us you know, have like standards refer- with our tobacco. Yeah, <laughs> was that? That some of us have oh. standards with our tobacco. <laughs> if your cigar doesn't come from a gas station and its wrapping doesn't look like this, you're smoking shit. Uh-huh. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> you're smoking a rat poison. <laughs> That, that last little bit did taste like rap poison. I'll tell you what. <laughs> you see? Mean, like I'm hearing oh, colors. It's not good happens. for you, man. I'm telling you. I can see not that these, your colors. It doesn't mean that this is good for you, but that one is definitely not good for you. Hey, well, hey. So that's why I have plan B. Stuff. Yeah, that's why uh, that's right. always plan B comes out. <laughs> see? You always got to stay one step ahead of the aliens. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Biden's trying not to always just me. good for the morning after, you know? Yeah, exactly. Speaking about aliens, ooh, I watched the three, prob the three body problem. Oh, did you watch uh, the whole thing? I watched the whole thing. What did you think in of one it? day? <laughs> did you like it? Uh, after running, you know, like the running the ten k, um, I liked it. I mean, I know that some characters were swapped, and that kind of a uh, bugged you, bugs me. But um, I did liked you read it. The, I did li- you read the book. No, I bought. I just bought the audiobook. Oh, okay. Because I want to listen to the story. I don't know how they're going to tell the story, but the concept is. Do you know what the concept is? No, I'm kind of. Sam put it on one day, not knowing what it was, and we were like cleaning the house, doing laundry, and it was just playing in the living room. So I, I caught a couple things, but then the next time I saw it, it was on like episode three, and I was lost. I had no idea what was going on. The idea is really original, and I like it. I like the concept. I, won't, I just won't review it because it's something like, oh, something know. with like them putting a headset on or something uh, like, about the relationship between the human beings and aliens. That's the, the secret, the sauce of this. The sauce. Obviously. Yeah, so the sauce. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so I'm going to start listening oh, wow. to the other book because I want to compare the book and the and the and the movies. This is this is something that you see like. I've never seen this take on the relationship between human beings and and, and aliens. So hmm. I would definitely recommend. Complete just for I think just for that. Even if you don't like it, the politics or whatever, okay. um, you you like the concept. You like the concept. Right, I'll give it a try. No, we've been not some kind of, we've been watching Shogun, and I, yeah. I just we've been watching a lot of that, so I haven't had time to watch anything else. But uh, I'll check it out. Yeah, I do like aliens. I've been watching, since we're on the topic of shows, uh, Unexplained Files on Netflix. I watched that last night. Yeah. The first episode was weird. Yeah, the first episode was about aliens, and then it gets like ghosts. Yeah, yeah. And supposed then, to be true stories or something? Yeah, yeah. Like, real account stories. They are true stories. What do you mean supposed, supposed to be? be. Why do you think we wear these hats, <laughs> yeah. George? So sorry, so sorry. Put it mine on Dylan. Look on. at mine. Yeah. My covers my whole... Just... That one is the the, the better made. So I've, you know, I, I've I've made this one. The minutes will see that. <laughs> Alice, it's not that good. Put these two. Alice, Alice made that one, right? This was just leftovers. That wasn't leftover. <laughs> we just turned it into something. Well, I, I made that is, one. It's that one is pretty good. It's, what is his name again? I always forget that. Grogu. Well, Grogu. 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 Yeah, this is from this is Grogu section. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but we should bring him in. Yeah. Right. Look at well, that. He is on the shot, though, over there. <laughs> oh, my God. It's perfect. Yeah. Now we can fix It'll it. We'll fix it. Sure. Wow. 
I don't have another one for me, but... I permanently have one just floating over my head. It's invisible. Yeah. Gotta, um, if you can't see it, you need to put your hat on. You gotta make make another big one so that uh, we have at least four. Because, you know, every now and again we get into conspiracies. So yeah, exactly. we need a tinfoil. Hey. To get ourselves protected. It's yes. becoming more than every now and again. You know? Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty much a weekly occurrence. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Although we're talking about movies and stuff, and there's nothing to do with conspiracies. Oh. <laughs> Wow. 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 Netflix That's... does promote pedophilia, so <laughs> yeah, was that show like Cheer or whatever, like with all the kids that uh, what was that called? Everybody went crazy about that. I'm not even gonna look it up. I don't want it in your search history. But it was like, this oh, it was that weird, French. Yeah, weird show about kids that I don't know why Netflix would greenlight that, but. Yeah. Don't know you either. Well, people that make those decisions should not be making those decisions. <laughs> oh yeah, well, there's a lot of that happening nowadays, unfortunately. Decadence, decadence. But back to conspiracy theories. Uh, we had the solar eclipse, and obviously, we did touch upon some of the conspiracy theories that were supposed to partake and happen during the consp- uh, uh, during the eclipse. When the eclipse happened. Um, and I know I, I had mentioned my mother-in-law repeatedly was saying that in Brazil they were reporting how electricity and water and your internet was going to go down for weeks because the solar eclipse was going to happen. And uh, I tell you what, right during and after, I took a shit and a shower. We are all good. And you were surfing the internet? And I was surfing the internet. So all of those things worked they and didn't happen to work. and they continued to work fantastically did you so, call your mother-in-law to let her know oh no she was there she was oh. there with me yeah and inside the bathroom as you're taking a shit she stood there and i told her watch this she got a plunger in her hand so you can report back to brazil no uh no we we went back in and i said i said listen <laughs> I'm gonna shit. Tread carefully. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Don't overshare. Tread no, carefully no. the words you're gonna no, say no, no. from I, this moment on. No, I, I, had said, I went in and I was like, "Listen, I thought I thought the electricity and the water and everything was going to be yeah. out." And she goes, what oh, "Yeah." She goes, "They just don't know what they're talking about, do they?" And I said, "I know. I told you that not to worry about it because that's all she talked about every day." For like two weeks leading up to yeah. this is about how on the news they're promoting that you're going to lose water, go store. Who is promoting this? Man? Brazilian some, news channel? Some man? propaganda nonsense that she was probably watching. You know, so I don't know. But anyways, I'm happy to report that uh, the eclipse passed. It was a phenomenal life-changing Event, experience. Yeah. So far, so good. History, history. Uh, we we <laughs> just I mean, uh, participated in history. Was and that, that's and that's a, went down. Yeah. and that's a very true statement, Hilton. We participated in history. Yeah. You know, we got to see a for a lot of people a once in a lifetime event. Unless we travel and seek it out, there won't be another one here for three hundred years or something. Three hundred and twenty years. I had a because um, I came I came to work right so and I had a delivery uh, uh, the guy delivering the uh, a roll of um, carpet. And he, and I was like, hey man, are you working today? Man, it's, you know, there's a history, you know, in the happening today. And then he was like, oh, I've, I've seen one, um, you know, before. And he was just under 60 years old. And he's like, well, well the next one is only in 20 years time. And it's like, I'll be able to see it if I'm still alive. Yeah. I'm going to be 80 something. It's like, yeah, I guess. And then you won't be working because you're 80 something. Right? right. It's in 2045. It just won't pass through Texas. We'd have to go to like Oklahoma, I think, or like Arizona or something. But we'll get a partial, I'm sure. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But does it does it happen every year? Somehow, um, or twice a year, something like so that? So they were saying the next one that does happen is this year, and it is going to happen. This year. It's going to go over Portugal, Spain, and Iceland, Greenland, something like that. So in the United States. about the United States. Though. Yeah. Well, the the thing is because in the world, if the moon is going around yeah. somewhere, 26. 
Oh, 2026. I'm NASA sorry. says will be visible over Greenland, Iceland, Spain, Russia, and a small area of Portugal. Yeah. So it means that uh, they are always like covering, you know, something. Like the moon is always going around and then, you know, making right. that, you know, the, the, the shadow. Yeah. You know, of the moon. Right. Um, it's, it's, it's making a path. Yes. Right? So every year that's happening somewhere. Yes. Um, and then, you know, we got the opportunity now because we're living here. But, you know, if we move in two years time to Portugal about two years be able to see it yeah it's twice a year yeah roughly so that's what I'm saying like if you go seek them out and hunt them down you can go see it but for it to just be in your backyard and get to witness it like that's yeah, pretty yeah. cool it is pretty cool well it is funny because you know the guy that, that all the memes are made famous of of where he's going aliens yeah uh, George Talopoulos or however you say his last name I'm, I'm sure you've seen it, Hilton. He's on Ancient Aliens. He's this crazy-haired yes, guy. Yes, yes, yes. I know and he's all guy. aliens. Well, uh, I follow him on Twitter, and he pulled up, or he actually said something pretty profound. Yeah, my so Yeah, that him. He uh, he goes, listen, all of these doomsday preppers and these people freaking about uh, freaking out about the eclipse. He goes, these are all natural causes. Because we also had the earthquakes in New York, we we had a mm -hmm. you know some other things happen, and everyone was freaking out like, oh, there's going to be worldwide earthquakes because of the eclipse and da da. da. And, he, and he posted, he goes, earthquakes and solar eclipses have happened millions of times or yeah. billions of times here on Earth, and it doesn't, and we're still here. So it's not like it's going to be the end of the world that this eclipse is going to destroy the whole world. Yeah, one of the news like the so the Yeah. The of, should we take this off then? Because there's I'm, no conspiracy. I'm debunked, people. Debunked. One of conspiracy the, theories. One debunked. One of the news debunked. highlights I read was uh, about this. <laughs> uh, th those were the four, the four most profitable George four minutes. <laughs> one of the four most, uh, most profitable four minutes of history. Of Texas. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, like everyone was there for the full thing, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so for four minutes. So it was funny. It was funny that. To so, hear that. And, and so we'll touch upon kind of the conspiracies. I just share in my experience that none of the things that were supposed to happen because the eclipse happened. I know we discussed on the last podcast some, <coughs> some other things. Did any of you have or hear of any other conspiracy theories that didn't formulate um, or not yet oh, yeah it was just I, I couldn't even articulate it in the words at this point it was this four minute long like tiktok video explaining all the similarities of like biblical text of like a blood moon and all these things that were going to happen basically calling for like the rapture so it was going to be like the end of times and all this stuff and there are all these signs that were happening that led to it being this solar eclipse had to be what it was. And it, I couldn't even articulate all the the mm. sources they were pulling up and this and this and this and I, yeah. it's far fetched. But and I love reading about it because I'm just like, man, there are some bored people out there that like don't have enough in their lives. But you know what? I, I I was talking to Tamir's about that while we were just a you know watching and thinking about think about that now we are we have information we're informed about it i mean partially informed or misinformed, uh, misinformed <laughs> but at informed. least we we have comparison we have some knowledge but project that to a thousand three thousand thirty thousand years ago sure and you see something something like this well you're going to see similarities i'm sure people back then were freaking out seeing Where'd the sun go? Exactly. What God hates us today, we need to sacrifice. What crimes are committed during the four minutes? Yeah. I, I think if it's like 5,000 <laughs> years ago, you would be, everybody would be freaking out. Right? Exactly. Yeah, That's it because like, of a lack of uh, knowledge. like some people. Yeah. Everybody. Yes. Right. Right. But, right. but think about that. They wouldn't know it would happen. They would all of a sudden be doing whatever they're doing, and then they would look up and they say, "What? Something is going on with the sun." So probably for the three hours. To be honest, I mean, if they didn't know how to be looking at the sun, it kind of hurts, right? Your yes. Eye. Probably they. And would. then they're like, "Oh, it went dark. Oh, it's probably just a cloud." 
Could. They may not even notice it. But it went dark, dark. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It went All dark. the lights came automatically. Yeah. 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 Oh, did you see that? Okay, it was 142, 59 seconds or whatever. It was dark. And then when only the teeth of that came out, everything was it illuminated. Brights up, yeah. Like, yeah. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Yes. I was talking to my neighbor here and it's like, it, isn't it impressive that's just a tiny little bit that comes off already? Is enough to brings, light up? Yeah, brings the light up to normal standards. And it's yes. required to cover the whole thing to get that. Yeah. And right? the, 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 nice, the nice thing is that like you see the flares. You could see, I mean, somebody, you know, taking pictures like, you know, uh, you took one picture. I you can see the flares of the sun. Yeah, this is what... This, this, this I saw it with my naked eye, but not... I saw that too. Yeah. It just looked like a red dot. Yeah, and I kept pink, saying something it was that's pink. pink, dot, pink. Yeah. It for was me, pink for I mean, me. I might be colorblind. I don't know. But I just kept mentioning it to Sam, like, there's a little dot on the edge. And then when I saw these other pictures and telescopes and stuff, you could see that it was flares. Yes. But I saw it not even through a camera lens, isn't but with amazing? my naked eye, exactly. I saw it and isn't, I commented on it. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. And I, I saw know, like, you say something in the group, like, damn, it's not just me. Everybody yes, saw it. Yes, right? It's cool. <laughs> yeah, and, then, cool. um, and also, think about that. That is that is happening for, what, millions of people seeing the same thing concentrated in four minutes. Probably more people are doing that than any show in, in America nowadays. I'm sure. And, and there was one thing in my... In no a, analytics. And I hate my phone for it, but it didn't have enough space. But I was making... I was trying to make a video right before the totality of the, the eclipse. I would see weird waves. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You guys saw that? Yeah, yeah. No, no. I saw that. I you saw, saw that? Phone, yeah. yeah. I was filming as well. And I'm going, what the hell is that? Oh, we, we should look for that. Like, yeah, that was. And I don't know if it's the distortion of like the the radio lights, radio maybe, radiation maybe, maybe. coming yeah. in that it was just enough where you could see, like what's coming at you. And I think that's also one of the reasons why there are so so many conspiracies, because there are so many different things that we are not used to. Yeah. And then what can happen? Yeah, yeah. Dylan, get that Im- image there. I'll put the computer just so you, that image is pretty cool. Look at that. That's you know, so showing, cool. You know, showing the flares. You know, the the the, the sun activity, uh, and and probably the waves that we saw. It's because of that. I mean, it's like light coming in, like escaping and coming in and out, and then you see that you know kind of thing. Well, so, probably it's it's. The sun is so concentrated on a normal basis that we're unable to see it. But when it's being blocked or just before there's that interference, you're all, you are able to yeah. see those 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 yeah light, those on waves. the naked eye. Yeah, uh, it yeah, was it's unbelievable. Yeah, look at those. It looked it looked yeah, like it quality the, of the, the, the waves in there. Yeah, it so looks. The, I smile. saw that. I saw that. You yeah. see, what I posted that it, it was a uh, Sauron's eye. Or something like this. Was, I have, oh, you don't. Like you haven't seen it. Yeah, yeah you'll see like that. Sorry, is that you? <laughs> is it, is it you? Yeah. yeah. My, what I thought was the funniest was people that just like you were saying. Like we, we live in a day and age of information. Everybody's informed, but there are so many people out there with the conspiracy hats that just feel like they're being lied to. So they're like, I'm not gonna wear these glasses. I'm gonna look directly at it like my ancestors would have, and I'm gonna download the message that's being sent to me. And whoa, whoa! I'm like, I wonder how many people hurt their eyes just refusing to look through the film. Yeah, that's a conspiracy, a clear conspiracy. It phase, is right. This they is think a, that exactly. A, it's like a I can't remember if it's Nibiru or something, but. I saw a video, I just think it's edited, where they like went to the eclipse and they panned over to the left and there was like the moon over here. And so they're saying it wasn't the moon blocking the sun, it was like the black sun, <laughs> something else. And I was like, that's got to be edited, but it was edited pretty well. But and I was like, interesting. Beso- but you that's why they have it. you wear the glasses, because they try don't want you to see. Try, now i got to try and find the image there. Yeah. <laughs> and... Uh, um, the eclipse of black sun, moon, next to And this is one of the problems of social media because, you know, um, the information stays only within your realm and then the algorithm only shows you what you want to see, right what ag- things that agree with you, right? So it's, you're an echo chamber. Exactly. So you are, yeah, exactly. You are, you know, like, so these people, probably every single piece of information they get, maybe they're saying 
very similar things. Well, and the thing is, like, and obviously this was it was an edited video, edited very well, but to a point of is the person serious? But is the person making a joke? I would I would do something like that, where I would make like, oh yeah, there's there's Planet X, and it just passed in front of the sun. The moon's really yeah, over there. Well, if, it is, if it is Planet X, this is uh, Elon Musk planet. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> it's just, it's just, but but that's but that's my point is like you know I would do it as a joke but there's people out there that are gonna edit for misinformation or just to spread rumors or start something start online trolling you yes. know to start something but I don't know if I'm able to find and besides it. that yeah, okay. if there is an if Doesn't there matter. is it's, supply of information it's, it's fake anyways it's and fake. if there is supply of information. It's probably because there's a demand for that. Yeah. So if the guy produces that, let's see how many views they have. But if thousands of people saw it, clearly there is a demand. I wouldn't say it's the sanest demand, but it's, but but it is a demand. Yeah. Well, you could look at it as like entertainment. It might be an entertainment demand. Yes. Some people look at it and go like, there's... A lot of people would go like, I gotta see that. Yeah. <laughs> Even though they don't believe, they go like, I gotta see that. Exactly. Yeah. You're gonna watch me win, bitch. What? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm just searching for... <laughs> oh my goodness. We're just searching for answers here, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. It was very biblical. <laughs> You're coming, right? Look... This one says royal. I actually just just put, look at the price. <laughs> For a box. Yeah. It's so cloudy though. It's like oh, look at that. I wouldn't have been Does able to matter? say anything. Yeah. 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 They're basically they're yeah, trying to say that it wasn't the moon not. blocking the sun. It was something else, and that's why they want you wearing these glasses because the only thing you can see is like the sun coming through and it distracts you. Blah blah blah. But, there would have been m multiple people that got this video, not just one person. Beautiful, isn't it? Right. I just wanted to find his words again. To show. I should have sent it to the group because it was funny. That region there, it's considered like a Cuban um, quality kind of cigar, I mean, it, like, but stronger cigar. Oh, yeah. 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 I, I had a... Yesterday I had a Cameroon, I think. Mm -hmm. But this one is better. This one is pretty good. They name after a English castle. But anyway, so I mean that that kind of goes into the whole conspiracy theories about the solar eclipse. I was here watching, and it was pretty cool. Um, I got there are some workers because uh, they're you know the new neighbor they're still like building up the place, like they didn't have any protection glasses and whatnot. And then it's like when the full eclipse was on, or a tiny little bit. Um, like to get full on, uh, seeing through the Tesla um, roof, um, actually you could see better than with the glasses. Hmm. And it would, I mean, it, it has a lot of protection. And it was pretty cool to see it that way without any protection because uh, it doesn't really harm, harm your, your eyes. Were you able to see uh, Is that the one? some of the stars? Oh, yeah, yeah. Is that the one? No, no but I think it's kind of being something similar. <laughs> it was a two minutes thing. He's looking for the moon somewhere else. Yeah, before. To point it out, happens, yes. Yeah. Where is it, anyone? And go. see that little floating thing? Like it's the reflection off his lens. A lot of people took pictures of it, and there was like a reflection, and they're like creating a conspiracy out of that. So just a bunch of people hoping for something. No, seriously, sir. Like... Where is it? Why can't I see the moon? Yeah, I... <laughs> I don't know. Stuff like that that just wastes your time in life. Can you get two minutes of your of your life back because of this? Oh, he was uh, mentioning like I cannot see the moon. Right? Yeah, exactly. Where is the moon? There's, there's nothing happening here. If the, the moon's gonna come in and eclipse it, should not be able to see it over here. Like two hours yeah. before. The no, event. It, worse than that. Oh, the moon is. One billion times is smaller than the sun. How can it cover the whole sun? Yes, I've seen that one too. Huh? Four hundred times. Yeah, four hundred times. 
The bigger than it. Okay. The, the, the moon, is that, is that only 400? So they say, whatever it is, it's like, but then they're like, so how could it cover the whole sun when it comes across? Exactly. Like, oh, wow. That's what he said. Spatial distance. Is <laughs> well, so that's what it is. Mind blowing. They were, they, the, the sun away from the, the, the distance from the sun to earth is about 400 times. And then the, the diameter, 400, 400, 400 times. Okay. And then the diameter of the moon viewing from earth blocking out the sun is 400 times so that's why you can have the solar eclipses um is that the moon is at the right spatial <laughs> okay let me put that's that in the beer. this wasn't the one but this is another one where i've seen this one already there was the moon smoking you know like you know like <laughs> oh so that's Clearly. not a reflection in the no. so the, 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 the sun was having um uh, a cigar, then just exactly blew like a, a little smoke ring. Yeah, yeah. Our is like this person votes. <laughs> <laughs> then the comments are oh, Michael Jackson was <laughs> right all along. You know the yeah the meme yeah. like I, I just came for the comments. Yeah, came for the comments. Yeah, so I'm just here <laughs> so I don't get fined. Yeah, look at that. That's clearly some some it's type Nibiru. of shadow with <laughs> no, Nibiru. Nibiru. But come on, man. When you were a kid, weren't you trying all the time to find oh to to believe that anything flying would be an an, an, an UFO? Again, you just you just said it. Kids. These are adults. These are voting <laughs> adults. But well, it wasn't they didn't grow. Was they didn't grow up, you know. Line, like they're seeing it, they they didn't grow up, man. Up That's it. Side, and like, but there's look at the moon. that. Yeah, but there is a clear cut on the. Exactly. It's such a cl- yeah. It's it, complete darkness I there. I can actually do man, better than that. Man, <laughs> and 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 tell me something. Yeah, I would tell you something. And you look at them like they truly believe they know the truth. Yeah. yeah. Look at they. They, they uh, know. The true, you know, do you know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Look at the way he's looking at it. <laughs> like, come on, guys, wake One of the up. Comments is like, <laughs> everyone noticed it never got dark like the eclipse of 2017. So actually, try covering the sun. Is it technology or Nibiru? It was technology. Shaking my head. <laughs> oh, bro, this also proves that the moon doesn't reflect the sun's light. How can it if the sun's blocked by the other object? Debunked. <laughs> so you just got all these people that believe it. So uh, is the moon or the sun flat for the Earth flatters, or the, what is the th- flat earthers? Yes, Ooh. this was spotted in Dallas. Flat I, don't know if I saw yes, that. Flat yeah. Yeah. There's a US yeah. expression. UFO spotted in the clouds during. Uh, okay, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna put it in. I'll play that again. CERN opened the portal. Did y'all see that? <laughs> <laughs> see what? It was, uh, no, go Earthers. back to it. The first thing it says, CERN open portal. Yeah, look right here. <laughs> yeah, so. There we go. Maybe that one conspiracy did happen. Mm-mm-mm. This was spotted in Dallas, whatever. It just looks like a plane to me, though. And why Dallas have, at all places? Um, JFK. Oh. The assassination. Oh, that's, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everything is connected. CIA. Uh, you, you can try anything with a the conspiracy theorist, and they will connect yeah. some dots. And that's a great part of that. You know, no. that's a great part. Of that. <laughs> Who's running for president? Also, they will always. Oh. 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 I'm telling oh my you guys, God. it's the CIA. The Chinese are involved. <laughs> Aliens. You got it. You got it. But we are hit talking that, about eclipse again. Hit that like, subscribe, comment button. <laughs> if you want more conspiracy knowledge, these aren't theories, these are knowledge that we're, we're, we're throwing <laughs> your way. Knowledge as in it should be taught in schools? Uh, you know what? Some might even say forbidden knowledge because not everyone should be knowing well, about this. Those won't be shown. Yeah, people were saying they, were, they sprayed the clouds in so that <laughs> no one could yeah. see. Tell so your ex- sources, aliens. aliens. <laughs> <laughs> and I think all these is great in China. China. <laughs> hey, what were they doing while we were all distracted with the moon and the sun? Yeah. They're working on taking over Taiwan or something. 
That's the whole thing. We're too distracted. Too busy staring that happens, at the sun. That happens a lot, you know. You know, I mean, you're saying that, but I see that happens in, in, in politics a lot. And like, they they're distracted. talking about something, so that's going to be on the news, but they're voting something else. Oh, right? yeah. Yeah, all this is going on, like, nothing's come out yet about P. Diddy. Not yet. It's a distraction. It's a, it's a distraction for Baltimore. That is true. true. Probably the most, re- I, I would say that, no one's talked about that. No one happened. is talking about, and this is as we saw it. It's big. This is big. Nobody the, really is talking about the first uh, football game of the year being in Brazil in São Paulo. I. Everybody's just CNN talking about, was quiet about. That. Were they just like not interested, or what's the point of that? Because that's going to be watched by so many people. Maybe they're full time. Fans. No one talked about. Like that news on Chechenia that I sent in a group, right? Fortune? Chechenia? I think I saw it. I put in the group, right? That they prohibited any sound that... Which How much is do you think those tickets are going to be? 80, so cool. uh, 80, 80, 80, 80 beats? 80 beats per minute. So and, 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 but not more than 116. You can, you can only listen to music in the whole country from 80 to 116. So they don't want lo-fi beats? They don't want techno? No, exactly. So they figure it out, okay, what can we do to attack all of them at the same time? Someone's going to make something they don't like with those beats per minute. Oh, we'll, yeah. There this will is be, be Yeah. <laughs> Actually, this is how we get so we, we get creative. Yeah. Right? <laughs> when you're you pressed. put parameters on when it. When you're pressed, yeah. right? <laughs> Under pressure. My goodness. Dun, 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 Did dun, you dun, hear dun, that? Dun, I think I saw briefly. Yeah. We're busy. You guys post on the day they were going to record the podcast. It's hard for me. And to be honest, for Dylan as well, because we are you know, busy. Yeah. <laughs> we were busy today, actually. And actually, whenever I, there's this thing, right? Whatever you, po- you post in WhatsApp, honestly, if a person comes to me and says, oh, no, you, you didn't answer to me in 5, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, I say, look, you're lucky because usually it takes 24 hours. I don't expect to. <laughs> I don't expect you to, to 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 watch it. Yeah. Well, that's already you know? an improvement, man. We used to send pigeons, you know, like where we're at in technology now. People just demand your time, and it's not reasonable. It was you know? like uh, we sent an email to a supplier yesterday, <laughs> yeah. and uh, we didn't get any answers. Like, Dylan, just what is the telephone number? I'm just gonna call this guy. I didn't even have the answer to your question. And even though I called and he still doesn't have the answer because he also sent an email to the other department. But we needed the answer, like, quicker. I mean, we don't need it right now. But, you know, three hours, maybe? I thought he'd be eager to sell. sell. Yeah, we are are sending an order. Maybe he's busy, I don't know. As a rep, he should always be accessible to those types of things. It's funny that everything happens so fast today, but you things only really work if you truly anticipate things. <laughs> you know, like we were supposed at to be the, the opposite, of, you know what I'm saying? At the speed of human. Exactly, that's right? That's what it is. It's at the speed of human. Um, yeah, so we Not overload the same speed. big data overloading, you know, all types of communication. We have to understand how you... You know, which uh, is the media, we, which are the media that you use it, you know? So, come on. Really? Like, oh, you haven't answered yet. <laughs> what are you talking yeah. about? Right? So, um, but, uh, we, did gave, we, we did give him this guy like a full 24 hours. And uh, we normally expect from a sales rep at least, you know, 24 hours reply. Like with the information that we asked. Within their company, they should have like you know less time. We have one company that we have two different reps because two different divisions, commercial and residential. The commercial guy, mm-hmm. he is he sends me. I text him and then he sends a text back, like in three minutes, with the answer. And the other guy takes sometimes a week. I drop my chapstick. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know, the other guy takes like in a long time. It's like you know, some people are much faster. So. He was over here. Thanks. I'm gonna fill under a chair or something, but that'll get your eyes good. 
I know it doesn't have this this smoke coming out. Yeah. Yeah. No, so. No, it was pocket last week. But but I am uh, yeah but I am. Uh, I found it. Yeah, that's the, this is why I brought that up because uh, it's not a stand. It's not something standardized. Oh, I I'm gonna I want you 24, and now no, we know the the market accepts 24 hours, mm-hmm. but. Which which media? Did you mention that the guy that's the commercial that's really fast. Like he's an older guy, so yeah. you would think it'd be the opposite. But he's the one that will respond in minutes, thirty seconds sometimes, and it's... the other middle aged guy next day sometimes. So he's... he's just not eager to sell, or I don't know. But maybe he gets beat by his wife at home. Can't he looks him. like it, yeah, for sure. <laughs> It could be like he's a little bit more easygoing. We you know, do. he goes like, "Yeah, I need to get this information for you know for the guys," and then he looks at it, he's like, "Oh, I'll find out." You know, because he has that concept like he doesn't need it right now. He's sending a message. The other guy is like thinking that I need right now, and sometimes I don't. So it's like, hey, take your time. You know what I mean? <laughs> you don't yeah, have to be your own leisure. You know? Yeah. You know, I, I just need information. Send my customer. I can send the information tomorrow. You know. <laughs> But he is like 30 seconds. He's quick. Two minutes. It's like that. We appreciate it. And this is in sales, right? But some businesses are very seasonal. Yeah. Such as tax returns. Yeah. So I put it on the internet for one company. I just want to, I just want a piece, some piece of information about, you know, I, I, I didn't even want to hire the service. I just want to check what they offer. 20 companies called me. Oh, sure. So the other companies are tracking whatever you answer on, on on the social media. And then they called it, they called like five, six, 10 times. And then the last time they said, okay, uh, I don't want to waste your time, waste my time. Just like, uh, just, th- it took a big message to say, number one, number two, number three, give me five options. Sure. The, and then I just click one and then I don't want to have the information. I don't want to have any, any other information, right? But until I don't do that, they keep calling me. I'm talking about 20 calls. Yeah, that is the problem. Because of the, se- the seasonality, right? It's yeah. kind of the nature of the business. I was doing research on epoxy and calling a bunch of companies, met them, filled them out a bunch of them to do quotes and stuff. I get calls from them and texts from them on a daily basis. Hey, you ready to move forward with that? Hey, you ready to move forward with that? Yeah, you're no, not yet. Well, when would be a good time for me to reach out to you? Uh, two weeks from now? Like, How about fucking never? I'm not going to do it. You know? like, yeah, but call me. Come on, who calls? Up. They call every time. They leave a voicemail. And like, yes. Why did I use my uh, What in, what in their minds yeah. believe that by doing this, I'm gonna choose them? Honestly, you feel harassed after a while. You're like, oh. yeah, it's like well, too much. Who are that they gonna a, treat me? No, but that, that is, is, how how uh, they are gonna treat me? No, but but if George, they do that with uh, the sales in, in sales, there is a law in sales a which follow-up. is. 10 follow-ups it used to be five and now it's 10 follow-ups um you only really get to say on your 11th follow-up if you don't get on the 11th follow-up you're not getting it and then you can give up um some companies are still like you know they follow up like three four times and then they give up but numbers show that 10 follow-ups is the number of follow-ups that you gotta do. And then on the 11th, you either get the save or not. And if you don't, just, you know, give up. Um, yeah. yeah. But, you know, the, the thing is, like, for example, we follow up, but we follow up like every other week. So that not to overwhelm the customer, because we think like, you know, when I'm getting, you know, follow-up, you know, texts and calls on a daily basis, it's not effective. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. uh, it's like I, my mind didn't change from yesterday. Do you know what I mean? Uh, but they just want to be the first one on top of mind. Yeah. So and sometimes you get lucky. Like we have a meeting in May that it was my third follow up and we got a meeting with them. So sometimes, and that's based off the average person that's actually looking for a service. Yes, and wants and something. nature Not of the business just, you mentioned, right? But that's because we gave time. We gave about three weeks for that follow up. I It was like one and then I did a two like one week later, then I was silent for about three weeks. I'm like, all right, let me hop back in. So, as that a person who through. did sales before, I, I, I've worked uh, 
my second job, no, third job ever. By the way, we have an opening. If you... Enron? Yeah, Enron. <laughs> no, I uh, I sold cell phones. Uh, okay. So always bringing up people. And, hey, and your how phone. come your cell phone doesn't have space? <clears throat> if you sold cell phones, you should know about cell phones. Exactly. Because like I have you used so to pay many. For the extra iCloud because, service. No, I have I have Google. I have Google Cloud. It's just I'm, I need to go through all my old f- pictures and videos and delete it. Are you on an Android? No, I've got an iPhone. Oh, why don't you pay for the iCloud storage? It's like I don't like I don't like iCloud stuff. I like I like Google stuff. We are in the middle of a conspiracy podcast. Yeah. Of course, he's got to bring quality, that. Man. <laughs> huh? You lose quality. I have both the Google and the iCloud. Yeah. I, got I gave the, in a long time ago, and I just paid them their money for the icon space. They, yeah, I know. They made it difficult but, to not. And but I, but it, it because... Mine is family share, anyways. So. Well, and I, so I have a family... Sh- more, right? It's for the whole family. So. so, and I have family share with Google, and plus because my, I have a Gmail account. And, I do too, yes. My drive is getting somewhat full, but it, I still have like 10 gigs available. On iCloud, I've got like 200 gigabytes that I pay for. It's like, I'm not using... 200 gigabytes. If I have that much stuff, shoot me. Right. But that's hoarding I, we have digital a, stuff, you know. Because of the medicine school, we get the 360 with two Terra, and then you divide it in six. So you can divide in six six different people. Mm-hmm. You got, so each one gets a, gets a Terra, which is, I think, is just for the starters, it's a great product. Right? Because it, sure. it allows six people to have it. And then you have the AI on that. Think about and then how much it's less than a hundred dollars a year. Is, you know, less than a hundred dollars a year. One terabyte is a lot of space. It's a yeah. ton of for space. a normal. But then for six, it's so but he's also using it for business and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, even for business, that is videos a ton of space. and yeah. So do you understand? What I'm saying like it's worth it. A hundred dollars for less than that, sixty nine dollars for like a year. For a year, and then you get like yeah, it's not a big deal. Huh? That's not a big deal. That's yeah, awesome. so it, it's. Anyone actually can afford it, yeah. Possibly if you're studying, right? So even if you are on a minimum wage, you can afford that. So um, this is why we do it in Apple because we use the whole, you know, cell phones and everything is in, yeah. is, is in there, right? So they make things reasonable too with financing and stuff. Like a lot of people just pay per month. The only thing that's not reasonable is the Vision Pro. That's the only thing that's. <laughs> but people said the same thing. I was reading about the the iPhone. We like, looked what? that up one day, remember? Like, it's yeah. not that far off. Like, when you take into account inflation and, like, what they charge for the first iPhone for what they're charging now, it's not like they've doubled it or it's around $799. Same. For the base model. It's, it's, yeah. it's still the same it's price. It's the same we price. Looked, so we looked with into that. inflation. So right. it's actually maybe a little bit cheaper. Yeah. Like, but that's, that's the, what we say as technology evolves, things get cheaper. They don't. They increase in price. Yeah, but the salaries go up, you know, everything else goes up, and then, you know, that price kind of goes up, but not as much. It's market. And, and, and it's affordable. It's yeah. market value. It's always yeah. based it's, on It's always market value. It's 100%. Yeah, I bought, I bought like a very cheap car once, and then in four years' time, I sold it for 2000 more than what I paid for. I get used. I get I get A what? A, a car. That's yeah. I mean, you can. But that's in Brazil thing. where the inflation is much higher. Right. When you get like these expensive new phones come out, you can still get a really good phone on Facebook Marketplace for a couple hundred dollars. Like anybody could have access to a smartphone these days. That's yeah. not like I never a buy new because I feel like you get I, iPhone ten. Why? For example, I I, I I have the eleven right for like a couple hundred bucks on Marketplace. True. I have the eleven and then I paid five hundred for it. Yeah. Yeah. At the time last year, maybe a year before, I don't know. And then I'm gonna, and I was thinking that yesterday is like I probably will have this phone for a long time. There's no need to upgrade it. It's good. It's a mini supercomputer. Yep. Yeah, it's already good enough. I've had I've had my twelve for the past three and a half years, and why would I upgrade it? I went from a seven to eleven, so probably now I'm gonna go from a eleven to a fifteen. Yes. In three years' time, I'll join you with the well, fifteen that's next year. So well, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You know, in three well, years' time from now. Yeah. Embarrassingly, I'll join you with the fifteen. We'll I was on the together. like uh, okay. iPhone every year 
upgrade plan like through Apple. So I got one every year. And then I stopped doing it because I just didn't see the value in it anymore. Yeah. Yeah. So I have a 13 Pro Max. Yeah, this one? Oh, no. Yeah, Same that's thing. what I have. And I'm like, I don't even know. This last year, I was like slightly tempted because if I traded my phone in, was, like the monthly payment was like five bucks a month. And I'm like, I'll just pay it off and I'll just have yes. the phone at that point. Why not? Right. The problem is you can't pay it off. Me, many systems, you can't pay it off because if it pays off, that is the full value. I tried to do that because I was trying to get to get to Mint to get the but other. They ones. want you to pay the interest and whatnot. Exactly. Right? Yeah. 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 No, I switched to Mint Mobile. Yeah, that's what I was asking about. That I did Mint Mobile. I have Mint Mobile right now. Okay. Oh, really? Cool. Yeah. You followed Ryan Reynolds? Yeah, it's great. It, they literally use like T-Mobile servers. I guess I had AT and T before. Yeah. And just my, I was on a plan with my dad, and my Whoa. half of just the plan was ninety dollars a month. Yes. And now I'm paying like thirty dollars a month, a yeah. third of that. Yeah, and it'd be cheaper if I paid for a full year at a time. I just pay every three months, so I don't even have a bill every month. It's like 120 bucks for every three months, which is 40 a month. But I had some promotions when I signed up. But That's not bad. Yeah, anyone's interested, I get you a referral link. You'll get like a discount if you. I will. I want. I, I do want it because now it, we, You're we paid off. I'll send you a link. We paid it off. Man, car. That's what finally. I did. It all has the house. Uh, the house is. Just, we are almost there. So, yeah, it's 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 a relief. It's yeah. a big relief. So five hundred fifty dollars when it came out, it, it would be eight hundred and eighty dollars now. What's your service but, provider uh, now? Uh, is uh, Verizon. Oh, well, Verizon is really good, but yeah, but it's expensive, and also uh, we got very cheap internet at home, twenty five dollars. Yeah, okay. that's what we paid for. Who the hell did internet. you have to kill to get twenty five dollars? And, and they gave me an Xbox. Through who? Exactly. Well, you, with Verizon, you gotta pay, you gotta pay oh. the cell phone uh, yeah. three hundred and fifty dollars a month. Yeah, I have Spectrum. It's like fifty bucks a month, but it's it goes out every now and then. No, but know? this but one, like Mint Mobile, it's um, just as good as AT and T. I've noticed zero drop in coverage. So I just feel like, what's the point in paying three since times I moved, the amount? Since I moved to the U.S., I got uh, the Mint Mobile version in Florida, but with a Texas number. Because okay. I knew that I was coming here, because I wanted to have a local number. But then, so instead of it's not mint, but if you call the uh, eight hundred number, it wasn't they go like, to be. "Are you a simple <laughs> mobile customer or uh, mint mobile so customer?" Like sister company. <laughs> yes, yeah. and then you're like, so much nice. and you gotta press one or two. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's the so same. It's the same thing. It's, you it's call the same, the same eight hundred number. Yeah, yeah. I would understand if you're paying three times and it's just like you're getting so much better experience but the user experience is not that much better so i don't it's really not it's worse with at&t so i just i didn't see the point of it look what i have here yeah. can you see nibiru oh uh, yeah i can <laughs> see <laughs> you he had the tip of our cigar look at the light and see if it's <laughs> yeah. anything yeah this so they told us also to keep it because i will be able to use in 20 go years to tunisia yeah. and, and never see. throw it away I was driving home from work yesterday, and there was some kids outside riding their bikes man. with them on. I'm like, "Good, you luck. can't see anything, man. Like, you don't even know that I'm driving right in front of me because I'm going to kill your ass." They're, I guess it's going to be like a trendy thing, like their sunglasses that people want to wear. Okay, like, you you can't see shit. I remember something. Have you ever got? Have you guys ever seen this um, commercial from Australia? Dumb ways to die. Have you ever seen this? Mm -mm. No. So it's a song. And then it reports uh, exactly all I've, the deaths. I think the I've craziest seen deaths this. possible. And some of them are like, no, nah, it's impossible. But yes, they died of that. So <laughs> this song, if we don't play it, uh, at least later we, we should watch it. Because it's, there's like one, two, and three. And just to show you, like, come on, man, don't be dumb for kids. So it's it's all cartoon, cartoonish. So <laughs> this is super cool. <laughs> Growing up, I always liked, liked watching A Thousand Ways to Die, though. That yeah. was like a good TV that show a good, where it's just like good show. people die in very outlandish ways. Yes, yeah. <laughs> that probably is the same principle. Which proves a point. You can die at any moment. Your phone can explode while you're taking a phone call. Oh, dude, I saw a guy at the gym who had his phone on the ground. He was lifting, and it got too heavy, and he dropped it, and he, it landed right on his phone. And he was kind of like, oh, man. And then he picked it up, and it just starts smoking. Like, the lithium-ion battery just, like, imploded. And he, like, threw it, and it, poof, it exploded. But Jesus. people used to have, like, vapes exploding in their pockets. Yeah. Like, you, yeah. you never know. Somebody could crash an 18-wheeler into the building we're sitting in right now. You, we you could have get, no idea. We could get... Uh, 
Or the train could derail and then, you know. We're <laughs> right behind the train, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that no, could happen. You're you never, never safe, know. you know? You, you know? So you gotta grab life by the horns, you know? Enjoy yeah. every day you got. Look at the sun without the glasses. Um, on the sports moment. <laughs> on the sports moment. Okay, you, so we're we going to the sports moment of the podcast. Yeah. Because I was going to say, like yeah. this podcast, um, you know, we were going to talk about something else. And yeah. then we end up like consumer device. <laughs> yes. It <laughs> A was. little bit of debunking conspiracy. Yes. And, and now it's the sports moment. Yeah, it's moments, moment. Yeah, because we are, real we are doing that, that, right? Yeah. So, um, well, he's very... He's representing Austin here in Austin FC. Yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. Austin FC. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I'll to go to a game. I haven't been to a game. I've, I've never been to a game. I'm, I'm, no, I'm, 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 I'm lying. I, I took my mom, my mom there for United States versus. I haven't gone whatever. if I want to. I've, yeah. I've gone to three games last year, oh. and they are. How do we get tickets to the. Uh, How do I get an invitation? The World Cup. Go? Yeah, I'm never invited. To show okay, you. the 2026. Yeah, I got you. Um, it's gonna be I will. Houston. I will put us. I will put I us. I want to go to one World Cup. When day. I because I I have an alert. As soon as I get an alert, I will call you guys immediately, and then every second you you try to buy everything possible. You try you try to get as much as possible in every single game, because everybody's doing that in the whole world. Yeah. So you gotta. We, we but are, they're not gonna be like the the better games, right? Like it'd be hard to find like a Brazil. Yeah, yeah uh, Brazil. I don't think it's all. I don't think it's already been. Oh, you can no, try. it's already been chosen. Try. Yes. Oh, really? Yes. It's in multiple cities, though. It's yeah, like but Brazil, Houston, Dallas, Brazil, Argentina. We'll play in California, Mexico, and and Florida. That's how they're gonna. New York, New we'll, York. We'll be also. watching Iran, uh, and Turkey, and Istanbul. But I. But it's still, I, be, it's still gonna be nice. But yeah. I. But I, I disagree. Drink a pint with my bros and. Start screaming at some football, you know? But I disagree because I feel like they're going to put the bigger, better teams in the bigger stadiums as opposed to yeah, New York. AT, AT&T, but AT&T and Houston. Dallas, so Dallas, and, Dallas yeah. and Houston stadiums fit over 100,000 people. They're huge. Yeah, yeah. They're huge stadiums. So yeah, I'm sure. I could see it happening in So I could, I could see like big, big name countries playing here in Texas. We would just pain arm and a leg to get to see USA play or get to see Brazil, but oh, would yeah, that not be so yeah, that fucking would be, cool? That'd be uh, so awesome. World and Cup, some of the games, you buy the ticket, but you don't know who's going to make, you know, like right. let's say if it's quarterfinal. Oh, but know, oh who's yeah. going to be on quarterfinal? I don't care. Yeah. 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 Might, forget yeah. about it. Let's just go. Yeah. And and also sometimes That's the best history. game is in, yeah. the, in the, you know, in the last eight. Yes, yeah. and then you buy the sem- and semifinal is just like a crappy game. Not a game. It's not. A, it's never going to be a crappy game, but it's it's a new new game. No emotions because you know the finals are always like this, boring. Except for the last one. That yeah. was good. Whatever game I make it to, I'll be all in. I don't okay. care. Uh, yes, a quarter. The last eight is the quarterfinal. Delicious. <laughs> What's that? The way you said it. What's that? <laughs> I'm messing with you, George. Wait, last eight? What's the problem? The last eight is the quarterfinals. <laughs> then the, the, the semifinals. The same. Huh? Semifinals are the last four. No, no, no. Last four. Okay, last four. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> that's what I said. I, thought, I, I, I made semifinals. I made semifinals versus eight. Yes. Quarterfinals. You did it again. Yeah, all right. Okay. I like that. It gives me jurisprudence because I was holding. Man, I've, been, I've been holding for a long time. Thank you. <laughs> I'm messing with you. Yeah, man. it's good. It's good. All right. Um, <laughs> that's good. Oh, that's good. Oh, fuck you. Uh, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready <laughs> taking notes here. I'm ready taking notes. I, I, it's going to be it's a hit list. It's gonna, yeah, it's going to be there. He's going to be there. He's going to be there. He's from his miles. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't do that to so me, George. 40, 48 he's going to flex on you so hard. Jesus. Jesus. Fuck. He's going to flex on me. Yeah, he's going to flex on you real hard. That's that medicine treatment, motherfucker. <laughs> can, I, can, I have, can I have a I bottle of water, please? Oh, and he's, he's passing that on to me. It's like, yeah. No, no, I, you, should, you should, like, take one and then drink before. And I'm like, no, this one's not yours. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, sure. Are you drinking? Are you going to drink that? Are you sure? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Are you sure? I haven't been noticing what you're doing to the water. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure it's clear. <laughs> 
You won't, <laughs> man. There will be a there will Spike be spike with some nut, uh, Nerobu. Some nut? <laughs> nuts? <laughs> Jeez! I definitely didn't say that. Definitely didn't say you that. You started either. that word. It's an N. Yeah, oh, I, I see how it could be. Yeah. From Dune, did you see Dune two yet? No, not yet. No, not. Oh, I haven't I watched it. the first one yet. Only the what original. What are you doing? Only the original. So okay, um, so you're talking about the sports session. Of course. Uh, so what? What? Uh, let's go back to the sports session. Yeah, because we're gonna wrap curious. it up. Yeah. Just uh, well, yeah, first of all, the N- the NBA is at, by, at the end of the regular season, so we're gonna have playoffs. The playoffs, and then I think, I mean, most playoffs gets really interesting. Yeah. Yes. Are you rooting for anybody yes. in particular? I just like I one watching. style of play of player, which is the Jokic. Who's dominating you know? right now? What team? Jokic. Oh, he is. Yeah, this, actually, this is the, the, guy. the West is really stacked. The West, yes, West exactly. and the East too. It Man, is. Los Angeles Lakers, Golden State Warriors, Phoenix, and probably Sacramento Kings will play. They are play the, in. Uh, yeah, are the Celtics only playing two. Right now? Aren't number they in the one. East? Number one. They're number East. one. They're like, but they're, they're not the taken best. seriously. They're not taken seriously. That's what everybody talks about how dominant the West is. But I know the Celtics. Really Nobody good. takes Boston Celtics still, uh, seriously anymore. They have Why? the best. They have the best record in the NBA. Yeah, exactly. and nobody is like, oh yeah, no that's just Boston. Yeah, yeah so yeah, it, oh, okay. it's unfair. It it's unfair to their stars because they, you know, like Jason Tatum is twenty five years old. I mean, most players, Jordan, Braun, Braun all the best players when they're, when they're 25, they're losing to. Yeah. And this guy, five first years, he got the finals in their conference five, four times or five. Yeah. So what I'm saying is that it takes time to be a, to be a true, like a big star. He's not top five. A legend. Yeah. But it's very difficult to be top five when you have the players that they have it now. So it's going to be very so exciting. I'm going to try to go to a game to, to How get are the stars. Mavericks doing? The Mavericks is spectacularly well. They yes. are. They are like. They, they are they, the hottest team right now. Yeah. They are. They are the I haven't watched team. anything. When, I always watch when he gets in the playoffs. They get, they've so got this games. center, this uh, uh, rookie center, and he's got the highest average in the whole, um, the in, whole, whole the, in the whole NBA because of Luca. Yeah. Because Luca he don't gets just. The ball fed to like, him. He's like this guy's well, like Kyrie also. Kyrie is oh, also a fantastic yeah. point guard. He just always gets hurt. Yeah. 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 Not this year. He's been well. He's healthy. Yeah, we hope. If Zion is gonna play the playoffs, so it's super exciting. He destroyed uh, Duran and Little Brown. He destroyed them both in two in two games. Uh, so two games. what happened to the Spurs? Spurs, um, oh. they are re- rebuilding with the future best player in the NBA. Maybe a potential to be the, the goat, the skinny guy. Yes, I saw him playing here in Austin. Yeah. They came to Austin here and watched a game against Do- Jokic. The Nuggets, and he was. They played a, in Austin. Yes, against. Uh, That's right. Where did they play them? I got invitation. Yeah, the Moody Center, man. So cool. they. So basically, uh, I found out about this. I got I an email know. from San Antonio HR. They're yes. like, we're trying to expand the the landscape. Apparently, San Antonio is just not where the Spurs want to be, and yeah. the possibility is that they're going to move from. San Antonio to Austin. 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 That would be yes. Austin so, has a market for it. And they're really? testing the market here. So they did a couple That'll games here in everything. Austin. Last year I went to a game. I went to a game against Minnesota. Uh huh. And this year against. Um, Man, that was too so bad. Yeah, dude, that'd be cool if they did move to Austin because I'd try and make some it, games. Austin doesn't have a major a major team. Still doesn't have any. I consider soccer just right soccer. now. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, but that's it, right? So I go to man, I go to second division game basketball games here. We're great for minor leagues. Austin. <laughs> yeah, no, we are. What, good. what is the, what is the name of the of the minor leagues? Toros. Austin Spurs. Austin. Spurs. Oh, the Austin Spurs. Yeah. The Austin yeah. Spurs. They they've been tracking. They've been training. If you want to go, we can go to a game uh, on a table. They play. We can the go to a table. We can drink Park and Center? smoke oh, in yeah. a game. They play at the Cedar Park Center. Yeah. yeah. Man, you, have you seen the, the tables that they put there? Yeah, yeah. Like I've been to the, the Dallas, the, ba- the, bench so the there. Texas Stars. Yes, I've uh, been yeah. to many Texas Stars. Games. I love yeah, Texas I, Stars. Let's go there. I want to so go again because I, the one I went, I was so lucky because there's so many fights, like three, three, four fights in the same game. So I really want to do that. That video you sent. What were those two teams of the hockey? Like right as the puck dropped, everybody yeah. on the ice got in a fight with somebody. It was the Rangers. It was. Oh, what, who was it? It was the Rangers and someone else. But apparently, the other game that they had just played they against each other. Shit or something? 
one of the guys did something really bad to another one of the teammates. So basically, it was an agreement. It's like as soon as they they drop the puck, we're, we're just gonna it. we're just gonna beat the shit Let out of everyone. Let me tell you something Dude, here. That's for you guys. awesome. Yeah. What happens in that situation? Well, like what the refs did. As soon as they, as soon as some people tire out, okay, you're gonna go out to the penalty box. So the whole field goes to the penalty box, and then <laughs> yeah, that, just backups it, come it just, in. Yeah, that's yeah. what I would ask. Is that, there a limit? That's what I was wondering. No, there's no limit. If the whole team, if both all, if all of the teams fight each other, then you are gonna have your backups, and then the backups will come in. What happens because if the one team every cool? Dude, it, what hockey ha- can get legit. So what awesome. happens if everyone goes goes there, and the other team no? One guy stays there. Can I go and score as many goals as I as I, as I can? Well, someone will someone will go in and, and be goalie. Okay, some well, so when fights what? are happening. Puck still alive? No, they stop. They, they the stop. The, they stop the game. Okay, they stop the game for the fight to finish. Okay, ah, oh. why? Yeah, because that, <laughs> that would be that'd be roller balls. You, you know, there was a movie called someone. Roller Balls. Yeah. Like dude, the game would never stop from the eighties. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so the NBA. It's gonna be a, you're gonna have the playoffs. I definitely, I would like to maybe watch a game with you guys. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, Shout out watch you know, party, right? So we'll for sure. We'll and let me before we move. Let me say, man, it's George's house. so good. Yeah, 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 definitely. It's so good to be here, and you know, like having other guys who actually follow so many sports at the same time. Because usually, I, I can only talk about one sport with a person, because the person only likes soccer or, or knows about soccer. But then, you hear like Formula One, American football, baseball, basketball. football, basketball. I, like I mean, to say the least. Hockey has the hockey, best six, verse and, of and all. It keeps up with all of them, I think. Like with baseball. I just, all of them. I just have you, no life, so. No. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and, uh, I only said life. I only said wife. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm not a wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just that yeah, it is a hearing no, problem. A lot of my time goes there, yeah. but it also goes to sports. I right did. after football season. How I about baseball? You said trouble, you, you so. said that baseball. <laughs> can you can you? Yeah. So baseball just had their opening season or the uh, the opening game. Uh, I follow. I'm a San Diego Padres fan. Obviously, grew up in you know lived in San Diego. Um, they were playing their home opener game was against the Chicago Cubs. Bottom of the seventh or eighth, if I remember right, Yo, they were down eight to zero. Eight zero, huh. and they came back, and Tatis Junior uh, hit a home run to win the game nine to eight on their opening game. So what just happened? Uh, inside joke. Oh, okay. Not about you. Oh. No, it's not. Somehow about you. I feel it's about me now. <laughs> no, it's just... Not about you. When you say that, it's about me. But anyway, so, the Wait, so when they won, they won, right? They won nine to eight. But they came was, back from eight to zero. That was in San Diego. San Diego. Yeah. Okay. So that, is that supposed to be a great comeback? Oh yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. It was eight to zero, and they came back nine to eight at the end. How, yes. how hard it is, it is to That's score nine? Did. Well, it's it's very hard. It's very hard to well home runs they and scores. Super, like all, it's very mental too, though. It's like when yeah. people get in a moment, it's hard to come back from those types of games. I believe it was Babe Ruth or Yogi Berra said baseball is ninety percent mental, ten percent physical. Yeah, I, I'm gonna tell you. I mean, I've I used to play squash a lot. Yeah, and I've lost. Yeah. I've lost a game where I was uh, two zero in in in. In sets like in game, yeah, and I was 14 3. Right, so if I score 15, I win the match, yeah, and I lost that game, yeah, yeah, and I have no idea why I lost. That game. <laughs> I was talking yeah. to my coach, and I was playing against my coach's son, and I lost that game, and I have yeah, no idea why. I lost, and he was like, Hilton, <laughs> what happened? Yeah, so I know so I, I just got no easy games. thinking that I would, you know. I was just a, a kid, and like you're like 17 years, old, of course, and run more, more than me. But I don't know what happened. I yeah. lost it. No, and all of my tricky shots, it wouldn't get in. And I, I don't know. Yeah, and that happens. <clears throat> a lot of people get. Uh, we're winning eight to zero. They're not going to come back. They came back and won. <laughs> they came back. Yeah. yeah. So it is. It is, and scoring uh, and, and nine zero is is as difficult as eight zero. So that's what they did. Yeah. They scored nine zero. Yeah, and, exactly. And, even better. Game. And what's the level of competition? Because I really don't know. What's the level of competition among how many teams? Thirty-two teams, so Thirty. Yeah, I believe 32, there's thirty-two yeah, teams. Those leagues are basically the same, right? Yeah. 
And how com- how competitive? Like, um, do they the all teams? Um, they they just alternate um, who wins or. It's a spread out, like so, 16 competitive teams. So baseball is a little different, and it's very similar to football in Brazil or soccer, where you're going to have the specific owners that are like, we're going all in, I'm spending a billion dollars right. and hiring the best people, sure. we're going to win the championship this year. And then you're going to have other owners that are like, ah, we're a shitty team, I'm we're a shitty city. I have my billions of dollars locked up and just ha- like selling merchandise. Yes. Just put people out there to to fill seats. Yes, entertainment. And yeah, exactly. Okay. Because because there are like three trillion games a season, right? Well, so they uh, there's a lot. <laughs> yeah, there is a lot. Games, but they yeah. but they reduce the amount of games. Oh, they did. They, and they uh, they introduce a pitching clock, so now the pitcher can only that, as soon as they pitch, you you have like a minute to prepare yourself, a minute or two minutes. I can't mm, remember. I like it. But you you only have. Baseball in the old days, pitcher would stay there, look around, I'm going to throw it to first base, and then I'm going to do this and this. They could stay there forever. But now they implemented a clock, and the game goes by super, super quick. Okay. So it's a lot more It used to be. I mean, it's it, it's bad for TV. Exactly. Because you don't know when it's going to finish, when it's going to end. I mean, you have an idea, but it's so long. Mm. Like You go by it's shorter. past experiences, yeah. Yeah. Um, in an effort to create a quicker pace of play, a 30 second timer between batters will be implemented in 2023. Between pitches, a 15 second timer will be in place with bases empty and a 20 second timer with runners on base. So, and then They're there's a strategy. That, and so that ends up being a, a strategy is like, okay, pitching is hard. These, these pitchers are the stars of the team because they're throwing 100 mile an hour. Football with, with, with that, are, that are going this way and then going in, yep. dropping from up above, and going how down, you hold it, right? how you hold it, and how they throw. Like it's a very technical game in that aspect of like what you can hit and don't hit. And there, like your reaction time has to be super, super quick to hit something coming at you 100 miles an hour. You gotta basically at this, at this yes. size, yeah. <laughs> and you so, know, some guys have got a mean fastball, and this guy's got a crazy changeup or whatever it is. So. Right. You, you study whoever the pitcher is going to be a little bit, but you don't know what he's going to throw. The sensation yeah. I have, okay, I always am going to use the, you know, a comparison with the sports I know better, right? It's uh, the chance that a goalkeeper has to, to stop a pen or kick. It's because not, you, you, you have you, to predict. Because you, know, yeah. you have to kind of... Uh, commit to one side. Yeah, commit to one side or the other and how right. you know how bad you go, you know? So I, I think the chances of for me to hit a home run for me it's similar to a goalkeeper stops a penalty. Probably. Probably. You know, like the, not the same because the, the variables are different, but I feel like it's, like, it's, it's right. extremely difficult. Exactly. It's, it's extremely it's difficult. difficult. Yes. Especially now that more, there's more, there are more techniques. So, but the thing is now, because pitchers in the olden days, they could take their time. They could sit up there on the mound for 10 minutes, just looking around, checking, doing their thing to rest. And they could last the yeah. whole game. Now, can you imagine your arm? throwing 100 mile an hour balls and because you have three strikes to get the person out or four balls sometimes a, a person can keep hitting your ball and it goes out oh that's another ball you have another chance to go you gotta throw in 20 seconds yeah. you gotta throw another pitch in you have seconds. to throw in 20 seconds you get higher that oh, so yeah. you're gonna pick up and if there is file only if the bases are empty it's 15 seconds yeah so like you have to keep the pace up and, so, and that's going to change the whole nature of the game, to be honest. Because the, the most important player, it's something major, right? Yeah. Because the, it's like, okay, you have 15 seconds to to put the ball back in, in the soccer. So you have to run, pick up the ball. Yeah, the, the get a formation, there, put, get put ready. The ball there, that would be... And they're finding a way to keep it a little bit more exciting for people yes. who don't want to change the channel. And, and it is, because a lot more pitchers are making more mistakes. And yes. Especially when bases, when there's people on bases, Tatis Jr., Eli De La Cruz for uh, Cincinnati Reds, they're fast, so they'll steal bases. Because the pitcher's going, oh, shit, I just threw a fastball. I need to do a changeup. They're not paying attention what's behind them, and this guy they takes off. Stolen. Yeah. Yes. And they steal the base. So, Ste- stolen bases went up, up like like 200%. That's great for the sport. And it's entertaining. Yes. There's, I'll, we'll have to watch a play, but Eli De La Cruz for Cincinnati, this guy I talked about, rookie year last year, he stole all of the bases and stole home plate, which has never been done before. And people See? were like, what the fuck just happened? Because the pitcher was like, 
I gotta get ready. I gotta get ready. Okay, throw, and he he just took off. Yeah, the and concentration just, moment. Yeah, it's completely that's great, different. That's, that's a great uh, that that moment. This explanation here. Yeah, it's exciting. Yeah, no, so I yeah. I, I, it's gonna I just want to watch baseball. Huh? It's gonna make you want to watch baseball. Yeah. Well, well and then right now, course, uh, honestly, uh, baseball this, is a up. lot of fun. Baseball is a really it. fun right. sport. It's really fun. Okay, Dylan, how about uh, in how? Oh, you gotta play. Okay. I don't know if we can copyright wise. Maybe we okay. can. Maybe we can't. But uh, what are you gonna ask? No, it's fine. It's fine. Go ahead. Oh, I don't even that. know. I was just gonna play it. Just yeah, this yeah. is a. He stole every base. That's him stealing first to second. Man, he's this dude's fast. And pitch down the name. Oh, there's no chance. Two steals. Steal every base. Still that is amazing. He stole home plate. <laughs> Dude, that's unheard of. Unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. That's like a goalie scoring a goal <laughs> yeah. in like a, a big game. In like yeah. World Cup or something. Like yeah. That doesn't happen, you know? Yeah. Amazing, man. So Going it's really down. cool things that are happening with baseball. Uh, I get stoked. There's a lot of cool rivalries. There's some good teams that are playing against each other. And... Uh, do, do they change the rules often no 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 so that, that that's what i'm saying like they felt it you know like football soccer is coming football they just changed the rules. football and baseball are so entrenched in history i mean they both kind of came out in like in the 1800s like early 1800s so it's so traditional it's such an american baseball is such an american tradition football is such like a, a european and and, and uh you know american. world you yes know, world sport now but with other sports, they're always constantly changing. Like, okay, you can do this, you can do this, da 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 da. But with baseball and, and football, I feel like they're like, no, 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 you, you can't change that. You cannot change that rule. You can't do that. Um, but now it's now it's really fun. So all right, good man. So please keep us educated as on on baseball. I, I would yeah. like it. Yeah. How about uh, what are the the news on um, NFL? Playing the first, I think the first game of the season in Brazil. Have you heard about it? They're playing in Sao Paulo. Um, there have been a couple of rule changes in the NFL as well. Um, hip drop tackles been banned, so that's another thing that refs are going to have to be looking at. It's a 15 yard penalty, and it's when people grab somebody, and then when they use their weight and their feet come off the ground, that's now illegal. How often was it? I mean, that happens quite often. Yeah. Probably every game, yeah. So you've got... A, just, I think it's going to make it harder, in my opinion. I don't think it's bad or good for the game. I don't know. I didn't play. So a lot of people are for it. A lot of people are against it. And who is who benefits more from that? The offense will benefit more the from offense. that because the defense is... Which, it's an offensive-based game. They want people scoring points. So it makes okay. it harder now for the defense. If you Imagine I'm trying to tackle somebody, and he makes a move, and he gets past me this way. Now I've got to turn and try and tackle him. What am I going to do? I'm going to grab them and try and pull back. But if my feet come off the ground and I do, like, use my weight, that's illegal now. Hmm. But you can't do that anymore. Yeah. And that's they true. changed the uh, the kicking rules for the kickoff. So now... It's, I think this is a great rule. Because they're going to bring back returns. Returns are going to be way more... People are going to start bringing it out. Because so, a lot of the time you see them kneeling down in the end zone or it goes out the back. It, but now, Why do you attribute like so many rules in so many sports? Because soccer is also soccer's a man. It, it's really hard to change rules in soccer. Like really hard. You need a vote from Scotland. It has a vote, right? But that's what I'm Ireland saying. Has, and then England has two votes, and the world has one vote. So whatever they they decide always. So they are very traditional. So there are no no rules in change. And, and that's what I'm saying. Rules. It's like fo football, soccer. And baseball are very old and very traditional. American football is still fairly, fairly newish, I guess you would say. Young in comparison. Yeah. Not, it's younger in comparison. Yes. So finding out what works to bring in the most people worldwide. Obviously, they're playing in Brazil, so now they're trying to hit the cent, like the South American market. They played in yes. Mexico before, Argentina, so they probably. Huh? Well, they played in in Germany last year, and they play in the UK. Going so, global. So it's glowing. It's going global. So you have to adjust your rules to entertain all fan bases. How do Americans feel about this change? This changes. Do you guys like it? Uh, yeah, I think uh, same with baseball. Like it just, 
Some I do. I guess some of the hip drop tackle one I'm not as fond of. Just when I played, I played defense. And it's all of the rules lately have been more catered towards an offense. So you don't the, – the best games sometimes are when there's not a lot of points being played. But people who aren't heavy football fans, they don't love watching that. But I, to me, I'm like, it's impressive because how dominant these offenses are nowadays to find a team that's just consistently stopping it on both sides of the ball, even up at the end of the game with – Six to six or six to zero. These low scoring games, they don't, they don't make great awesome. articles. I, I love this topic. I like that kind of thing. Um, the kickoff one. Yeah, you you're watching a video that I'll show you. That's going to explain a little bit better than I can of just how it's going to impact the game. But Oops. the way they line up is different now. The way depending on where. It, it lands like if it lands in the end zone it used to come out to the 20 i think now you come out all the way up to the 35 so the kicker has to be much more accurate with where he's placing the ball now right and there's a lot less movement so there's more of a run up and then the kick well now nobody can move until the person who's catching the ball catches it then everybody can start to move so it's going to make it a little bit more possible for bigger returns or for more right. exciting things to happen i think it's interesting um Okay. If it negatively impacts the team I support, I'm going to hate it, right? Yeah, of course. But when it positively impacts or just watching the game, I find it exciting. It's just ways of improving the game that aren't just catered towards one side of the ball because it's going to impact everyone. I like a lot. I like this uh, this topic. And then I will surely, in our next podcast, in the NBA part, I will also bring the, how the changes affect the offense and defense. But now, just to finish, I would like to know how the Formula One is. Um, Formula One is the same as uh, has been. Uh, you know, Verstappen. Who wants? Uh, who wants in Japan? Verstappen, uh, Verstappen from beginning to the end. He, didn't, he led all. He was in the pole position. Day. Yeah. Uh, yes, and he is only the third person in history to win in Suzuka three times in a row. The only other person was uh, Ayrton Senna. No, no, I'm blanking on his name, but um, his son didn't do it. You know him. He uh, very famous. Uh, Michael Mansell. No, no, he won multiple championships. He drove for Ferrari. He drove for. Um, he's a. Uh, Nicky Lauda. <laughs> no, he's old. It's from the seventies, eighties. Uh, Schumacher. 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 Okay. Schumacher. Okay. Okay. He's the only other person to win three times in a row in Japan. And who was the second? Uh, Perez. Perez. <laughs> and then you had Carlos Sainz. And then I believe Leclerc or maybe Norris. So but in the standings right now, it's um, Red Max. Bull and Ferrari are pretty close. But yeah, you got Verstappen, Perez, Carlos Sainz is in fourth, uh, Leclerc is in third. So it's, so the, the, it's just about. It's a Ferrari Red Bull, Red Bull race. So yeah. If Red Bull can keep on this pace, no one's going to catch them. But if they have a couple more faults like they did in Australia, it could get a little bit more competitive. Yeah. Um, we're also watching in real time the downfall of Ricardo, which is very unfortunate. Unfortunate. Yeah. But he's getting one of the main complaints he's had is his chassis, and um, he's getting a new chassis in China this next race coming up. It's not this weekend, but next weekend. And so, if he doesn't have an improvement, then I I really feel like he's going to lose his chair. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, because uh, Sonoda is doing well. much better than yeah. him. How about Hamilton and Alonso? Hamilton's been struggling. Oh, Alonso's been doing okay. Yeah. Hamilton's been struggling. He's looking like he's getting outclassed by George Russell. Um, and hmm. I don't know. Is he is why. his mind already in Ferrari or something? I think the I development think of the, the car now is more driven towards George Russell. Than, yeah, because he's going. But I don't think Hamilton's the type of pilot that. He's focused on right now. Mm -hmm. I don't think he would be focused on next mm -hmm. year because he he's a competitive guy. You know? But I'm he's sure that the company, you know, yeah, the yes. team is focusing more on George because that's the future. That's yeah. staying. Toto Wolf would never say that. He'll say no, that's not true. But, but I even believe that, that Hamilton would be playing that role. It's like oh, to yeah, help George. I'll, I'll help. You know, yeah, yeah. he's a team guy. I mean, he's won. You know, he's he's. He, he's Recently, a team guy has been. And he knew before he before was. Before, I was like, oh, for me. Yeah. Please. 
Well, you win young. And I mean, now you win seven. Is. You know, it's like he's going for that eight. But seeing where he's at right now, and you stack up all the chips, he's like, okay. What's left for a guy like him? He won he seven. He wins one more championship. And he's like, go. Yeah, that's uh, true. So he's he wants it. I mean, he's getting older though. Maybe his reaction time's getting slower. But when you he had the second best reaction time just starting the race in Japan. So it's something he's not. No, he's he's he not is, connecting with that car. He he's still a good driver, you know. Uh, it's it's just a situation, you know. It's yeah. it's situation. So. Yeah. Well, let's yeah, uh, wrap good. it up. Yeah. Um, thank you very much for watching, and again, hit that subscribe button, comment, share with a friend, yeah, subscribe, like. Like and, it. Uh, <laughs> I like it. And thank you very much for watching, and have thank a great you. rest of your night. We'll see you next week. Cheers.